game designer because ever since I was a child, I love playing video games. As far as how I came up with the idea for Animal Crossing, what I thought was to create a field where the players could communicate with each other. I wanted to create a software where players could feel like they are playing together, even if they are playing at different times. The town is where you live and do the things you like. There are no required goals and the players are free to do things their own way. I think the players really feel like the world is happening in real time. Even when you are not playing the game, the animals in the world of Animal Crossing get up in the morning and then go to bed at night. So you could really feel like you were visiting a realistic world with a 24-hour clock year-round. The city is a brand new place to explore in the Wii version of Animal Crossing. There is an auction site where you can see items that are for sale. Of course, you can also put up your own items for sale. There is a Happy Room Academy where you can find out what other players are doing. You can visit the famous fashion designer, Reisi, at her store. You can also go to Harriet's Beauty Salon, where you can change your hairstyle, or even choose to put on a mask and look like you're me. Of course, the key to Animal Crossing is communication. And there are some exciting advances. For one thing, you can write letters to other players and attach pictures to them. You can send them not just to other towns, but to the Wii message board, or to friends' cell phones and personal computers. But the biggest news is a special new microphone option called Wii Speak. It's not a singular headset, but a community microphone that lets every person in a room talk with another room for players anywhere in the world. Hey guys. Hello. Hey guys, what's up? For example, for today's main event, we are having a fishing contest. You guys are in major trouble. You can catch different fish depending on the season. Oh man, I'm out of practice. <laughs> I didn't know you were practicing. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Waiting for it to bite. Waiting. Waiting. Got it. Oh, that one's mine. <laughs> you can really get a sense of the personality of the player. For example, when you go to someone's town, you can see how they decorate their room, or if it is neat or messy. It's also fun to see how they have set up their town because it tells you what kind of person they are and I think that's really fun. It makes me happy to hear stories of people who are able to talk with their friends or even able to make new ones. Looking ahead, I want players to continue to be able to have the freedom to create their own worlds. To be able to communicate with others in a variety of ways and to share the world they have created. And to have a place where the players can connect with each other. <laughs>